One of the main differences between the Mini 3 and the Mini 3 Pro is the presence of obstacle sensors, as well as several intelligent flight modes, enabled by the capability of detecting obstacles in the Pro model. In this video I will show how the system works and all the relative settings. The Mini 3 Pro has a three-directional obstacle detection system with pairs of sensors at the front, toward the back and at the bottom. It is not an omnidirectional system like in the Mavic 3, as there are no sensors at the sides and at the top. The front and back sensors have a wide-angle view and partially protect the sides and the area above, but obstacles placed near 90 degrees to the side or straight above will not be detected. The Automated Pilot Assistance System APAS 4.0 handles the behavior of the drone when it encounters obstacles on its path. In the menu Safety of the settings, there are three choices for the obstacle avoidance action Bypass, Brake, and Off. When brake is selected, the aircraft will stop and over at about 1 meter or 3 feet from any detected obstacles. If we choose bypass, the aircraft will try to find the shortest path around the obstacles to avoid them. When off is selected, the APAS system is disabled. Notice that on the top right part of the screen, an icon indicates the status of the obstacle detection system. It is white when the detection is on and red when it is not active. The next option is Disable Sideways Flight. It is useful only on rare occasions, when we need to fly in a perfectly straight line, in most cases for slow moves in confined space. When using the obstacle detection system, we will leave it off. Scrolling now in the menu, we can choose to display an on-screen radar map. This map shows a line in the lower part of the screen, if obstacles are detected below the drone. The distance from the obstacle is displayed. The line will be yellow at first and turn red when the obstacle is closer. If an obstacle is detected in front of the drone, another line will appear in the upper part of the screen. When filming, the most frequently used obstacle avoidance action is bypass, as the aircraft will keep moving while avoiding obstacles for uninterrupted cinematic footage. Let's see how the Mini 3 behaves. As you can see, in this dense wood, the 3 Pro does an excellent job of detecting trees in front and slightly to the sides, and reacts very quickly to find its way around them. The same goes for detecting obstacles behind it when flying backward. Several models of DJI Profumer line struggle to detect wiry obstacles, like tiny bare tree branches or power lines. As you can see, under these circumstances I have experienced a couple of small crashes with the Earth 2S. The only model so far to handle this situation with ease is the Mavic 3, able to find its way around any situation, even when surrounded by the tiniest branches. The Mini 3 Pro handles the situation better than the R2S. Even in this tight environment, it managed to avoid most branches. Only on a couple of occasions, it slightly touched them, but without crashing. One thing I've noticed is that most drones need a certain amount of light to detect obstacles. This suggested to avoid going in very dense areas with minimum light, as the sensors might struggle. I find that the APAS technology for obstacle avoidance in the Mini 3 Pro works extremely well and it is a big step forward compared to the one of the R2S. This is not surprising, as it was released one year earlier. But there is a big caveat. As we saw earlier, the Mini 3 Pro lacks sensors at the top and at the sides. Even though the front and back sensors have a wide-angle view and partially protect the sides and the top, obstacle placed near 90 degrees to the sides or straight above will not be detected. When I try to track myself walking in parallel mode with the drone flying sideways, I experience several crashes against trees. 
The same goes when using the intelligent flight mode point of interest. When the tree pro is circling around the target, it is unable to detect obstacles on its path, as they are at an angle close to 90 degrees. I've also tested the behavior of the detection system with obstacles above the aircraft, with horrible results. I tried flying under tall trees and raising in altitude to check if the sensor would detect the branches, but the result was an awful crash and a destroyed drone. The APAS system of the Mini 3 Pro is extremely useful and saved my drone on many occasions when it ended up close to unexpected obstacles. I recommend using it constantly when filming to avoid accident, but a lot of care is still needed, especially when flying laterally, orbiting or with obstacles above. For this reason, I would recommend using the Mini 3 for close-range tracking only in wide open areas without any obstacles. While tracking, we can apply a smooth zoom using the right wheel of the remote controller, which is useful to get closer to the target. Obviously, it is a digital zoom, therefore with loss of resolution, so it is only useful when encoding at 2.7K or 1080p, maybe for posting on social media. Experienced user can apply zooming while editing for extra flexibility. The only model of the current DJI line really suitable for cross-range tracking is the Mavic 3, thanks to the omnidirectional sensor system. Another situation where extra care is needed is when flying over water, as the downward obstacle sensor struggles to analyze a reflective surface. Not only it cannot always avoid entering the water, but even the altitude shown on the screen should be taken with a pinch of salt. Sprays of salty water from waves can easily destroy a drone, so I suggest avoiding flying very low and applying extra care in these situations. The obstacle avoidance system of the Mini 3 Pro is not available when flying in sport mode, and this is something to bear in mind as it might lead to dangerous situations. One thing to be noticed is that the bypass mode is active only with frame rates up to 30 frames per second. With higher frame rates, the obstacle detection still works, but the aircraft simply stops before an obstacle instead of finding its way around it. The obstacle sensors are also active during a return to home, but this is a situation where plenty of care is needed, once again due to the lack of sensors to the side and above. I suggest using return to home with plenty of attention and setting the altitude well above all surrounding obstacles in spite of the avoidance system. Click on this link to watch my video on how to use Attic Track with the Mini 3 Pro. And don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting. Thank you.